Hello, in this video I look at the relationship between a narcissistic mother and her daughter. Skylar Richardson has recently been found not guilty of murdering her newborn baby. She got pregnant when she was 18 and didn't tell her parents. She found out she was pregnant in spring of 2017 and a doctor's appointment on the 26th of May confirmed that she was pregnant. She had the baby in the early hours of the 7th of May and then buried her in the garden. The defence said that the baby was born dead but the prosecutor said that she murdered her. What was difficult for the prosecution to prove was that the baby was born alive and this is why in the end the jury found her not guilty of murder because they just didn't have enough evidence to convince them that the baby was definitely born alive. Skylar Richardson had said to police that maybe the baby was moving and that maybe she'd made noises. She'd said that she thought that she might have squeezed her too hard and that was why she died. But the defence said that she had this um, personality disorder that made her want to please adults and that the police had treated her unfairly. April of 2017, Brooke becomes fearful that she might be pregnant. She asks her mom, schedule an appointment for me with the OBGYN for the purpose of obtaining birth control. But secretly, she wanted to find out whether or not the pregnancy she suspected was a part of her new reality. Was she actually pregnant? The day before Skylar went to the doctor, she sent this text message to her mom. Can I please not go to the doctor tomorrow? I changed my mind. I don't want to, and I don't want to be on the pill. I'm way too scared to go, and I'm completely scared to, and I'm seriously panicking about prom and not looking my best. It's hitting me how much I hate myself for getting that dress and looking like I do when it's my senior prom, and I'm gonna look so bad. I finally have friends to go with, and a great group, and a great date, but I've screwed myself so much with how I look, and I'm freaking out and I feel so scared, I just want everything to be okay and you to tell me it will be okay. Her mum replies, I'm here for you and it will be okay. Just relax, do not panic. I think at this point Skylar was panicking that the doctor was about to find out she was pregnant. She, she was terrified of the reality hitting home and her having to make decisions about what to do about that. But if you take away the part about the weight, what she's saying is that she's really scared and she says that in different ways about three different times and that she wants her mum to reassure her and tell her that everything is going to be okay and she can't tell her mum she's pregnant so the next best thing she can do is pretend that she needs reassuring about something else and it's not entirely false because she is really worried about her weight and she is really worried about how she's going to look in the dress as well what is it about the relationship that Skylar has with her mum that makes her so weight obsessed? Notice in her mum's reply, although she seems to reassure her a little bit, she doesn't challenge any of these rather drastic things her daughter's just said. You know, the, she's just said that she hates herself for buying this dress and her mum doesn't try to put that right or, or try to reassure her that she's just going to look lovely anyway or maybe they could get a different dress together. You know, she, she, just seems to, um, she just seems to allow her daughter to just go on thinking like that without really feeling concerned about it. And you can see how her daughter was actually looking at that time. It's not as if she was obese. Then Skylar says, I'm trying not to. I'm just in freak out mode. I want to look amazing again. More than anything, I hate being like this so much. And Kim replies, honey, you run each day and literally drop sweat, eat good and you can drop quick. 
I'm serious, if you get serious, you can probably pull it out. So her mother's response is that she can lose weight. She can do it, she can lose weight. It's not, look, darling, really you don't need to lose weight. You look fine as you are. You're, you're gonna look lovely in the dress and all the rest of it. You know, she's, she's just pushing her daughter to lose weight. April 26th, 2017. Brooke's worst fears were realized when Dr. Andrew confirmed the pregnancy. He told her that she was in the third trimester and that she would soon be giving birth. Brooke's response to Dr. Andrew was to burst into tears and tell him, I cannot have this baby and nobody can know. The defendant's emotional reaction to confirmation of her pregnancy was so extreme that it required suicide warnings. If you are going to do anything to yourself or to your child, you have got to tell someone. Dr. Andrew told her, you have to come back. You have to have an ultrasound. We have got to get prenatal care started for your daughter. Brooke, however, never followed up with that doctor appointment. She never told anyone she was pregnant. She tried to conceal her pregnancy from everyone. She took absolutely no efforts to bring her daughter into this world. These texts were sent just before Skylar went on the contraceptive pill when she knew she was pregnant. Kim says, we will leave soon, but get out, take a run, do something, because it's really getting down to the wire. Did he say anything about your stomach? I want to keep being honest and open. Even Dad asked me about your tummy. So please find a way to get yourself back ASAP. This text from Kim just before Skylar goes on the pill really shows us just how much pressure she puts on her daughter to look a certain way. And Skylar replies, OK, I will go for a run here soon. I'm about to do an ab workout. And then Kim responds, OK, good. I'm fighting this with you. When do you hear a mother say to her daughter, I'm fighting this with you? It makes me think of a child who's got cancer or something, you know, some dreadful disease, life-threatening illness, you know, and her mum is in it with her, she's fighting it with her. And in reality, there's a girl who's not even overweight. You wouldn't know she was pregnant. And, um, you know, and this is all they talk about.